Hey guys, it's Pete and Amy again. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day, everybody. Yeah. Let's play the other yeah. wilds. <laughs> Let's be aliens. Okay. That's not what I wanted oh. to do. Okay, so we are going to do the whole thing where we get set up to jump into the fire, which is where we ended last time. I think, what was it, 10 minutes before everybody died? Last time? I'll rest for like five at the uh, at one of the fires this time. Okay. Um, what do you want from me? Oh. Library full Oh, so this is just So saying... this is where we got into but didn't have the chance to really explore. Yeah. Oh, Bucha says hi everybody. Hi Bucha. Hello. We also had a few people talking beforehand. Um uh, let's see. Hi, Fajul, and hi, I am error. <laughs> <laughs> I I never know whether to call people by by full names here or if I know otherwise. Um, I think you're good the way you had it. Okay. I I get the joke. I get the reference. And that's what matters, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I'm humble as shit. This is the two thumbs Pete stream, not yeah. the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and is my name really Pete? <laughs> Not really. No. I'm pretty sure there's an R on that thing. Pro probably. Hey, spoilers. And you can't just drop letters. Not legally. I can make I learned you all about that at work. Pater or eater. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've I've confirmed that we've landed because I never remember what the button is. All right. Okay. So. Uh -huh. So where are we doing first? We're going to go into the first uh, tower to open that one door that needs to be opened. Then we're going to okay. go to the second tower and go back to the first tower. But first we're going to go to the ghost matter house. Yeah, well, I mean, that's that's a given at this point. I shouldn't even have to tell that to anybody. <laughs> yeah. This is, this is just a thing that happens. That's as clear as going to the stranger. If you go to the stranger, you go to the ghost mayor house. Yeah. They're one and the same. Also, um, let, me, let me give a quick kind of recap of this game for I Am Error. I don't know if you know what Outer Wilds is. <laughs> the reason I'm going so quickly and already sound like I'm panicking is because <laughs> this entire game is on a real-time 22-minute cycle. In 22 minutes, I will die. Um, so what we have to do is we have to figure out how to advance in the game little by little and keep going back in and then just skipping the things that we know how to do. And we are in the middle of an extremely like multi-step. There it is. I already lost what window I was looking at. Multi-step uh, puzzle just to get into a fake fireplace. That's where my life is right now. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Bucha says, I hope the hints I've left are enough because after hint coos and limmer hints, <laughs> I'm not sure what other common poetry structures there's left <laughs> to butcher. I, straight up, it's right in front of you, son hints. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, Amphidual says iambic hintameter. <laughs> <laughs> Please write us an entire song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Include the sheet music. Don't half-ass this. Okay, so... Okay. And in, for I Am Error again, in this DLC, the the first DLC was a lot of, like, gravitational, different gravitational pulls, things like that. Um, a lot of following sound waves. This is all about light and darkness, uh, depending on whether something is lit up or not. Like, I just blew out candles in order to make a door disappear, uh, for example. I'm going to shine light through there to make a raft appear. It's all about light and darkness. Oh, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing this yet. Just get asked where okay. you're going now. Yeah. Okay. So, in this DLC, there are these green fires that we found out. After playing for quite a few episodes, we found out that if you rest at them with this lantern, you go into kind of like a dream world. But, the dream world... I am not in the dream world, so that's not going to work. Yeah, the dream world, uh, which I am not in anymore, is essentially the Matrix. 
It's a um, simulation. It's all a machine. It's all a simulation. Um, the... That doesn't matter, I guess. The different fires are farther away from this... Uh, closer or farther away from this dam that's going to burst. So we want to go into one that's farther away so we have more time in the dream world. Because if the building that we're in with the fire gets knocked out while we're dreaming, then we get woken up and we can't use that fire until the cycle restarts. Yeah. That is an extremely... Undoubtedly, all of that made sense. Also, <laughs> I am Eric says, nice, and hi, Amy. <laughs> hi, Eric. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. We... And I will say, it took a lot of help from people to get us here. Yeah, it did. The DLC had us stumped in uh, more places than the main game did. The DLC is very uh, cryptic. Stumpy. Yes, it's very stumpy. <laughs> That's the technical term. Yeah. Okay, so... What we want to do is we actually want to get right back to where we just were. But we needed to... We need to go into the green fire, the first green fire, to open that door that we opened. Now we're going into the second green fire and going backwards because when that building with the first green fire is taken out, we won't be there. Now there are enemies in this dream world. Oh god, I just... The amount that I would have to explain, I guess. Basically, we have to wait ten minutes and that's going to take out the first tower... Um, everybody who rested in the first tower who was in the dream world will die at that point. And so we're waiting to kill all the enemies so we can get past a place where you can't run past them. Um, but since we entered through the second tower, when the first tower is destroyed, it won't kill us. I am error says, it even... looks like a pretty game. It's a fa Oh, it's a fantastic looking game. The style is really nice. Yeah. And Bucha says, have you seen the quote-unquote death animation? It's creepy. The, the Do you mean when animation. we die? Or can we watch... Oh, you mean like being there and seeing them die? I think we're oh, we see haven't that this done time. That. No, we haven't seen that. How do I get to the raft? Where are you? From oh. here. I can never remember how to... Oh, oh. go all the way back. Remember, this is where you have the invisible bridge you have to cross, and we walked o off of it twice in a row. Was I... Was this not the hotel? I thought no, we were going to end up at the, the hotel. No, this is the The hotel is the third temple. Oh. Did I go in the wrong one, then? Maybe. I mean, we've got time to kill, so may as well go back. Uh, oh, and I am error says, no worries. I think I'll be able to catch up. <sighs> Half the time we can't catch up. <laughs> yeah, oh. this is going to send you down towards that one. Is there a raft over here somewhere? I mean, there's the raft that explicitly takes you to that burnt house. That's not what we want to do, though. No. Oh my god, did I mess this up already? I don't think it's messed up. Should I just jump in then? Jump in the water? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Huh? Okay. I do not remember... going into the third one in any of our last playthroughs. I thought it was just one and two. Was it three? Maybe it was three. Uh, Fajul says, this game's all nice and cute and charming, and then you get killed in the cave on Ember Twin by being caught between the rising sand and the ceiling. Oh god, and there's that, like, creaking sound of <laughs> yourself, like, you know, remember? Yeah. When we would get, like, crushed by sand. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, uh Zem is waving hi. Hi, Zem. Hello. Uh, Bucha says, I think you wanted to go to the cliffside. Ooh! <laughs> somebody followed us. Don't Oh, oh, error. Thank you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Why? Oh. <laughs> what just happened? Okay, I think the dam broke. Oh. Ow, okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to try that again. <laughs> that went poorly. All right. God. Uh, Zim says... <laughs> that was horrible. 
Zem says, I show up and Peter jumps off a cliff. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Amara says, God damn it. Yeah, yeah well, yeah. <laughs> God. Oh. The raft almost took me out. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty, horrible. You got beamed by a raft. Oh, God. And I would, I would never jump off a cliff at the sight of Zem. That was poor timing. <laughs> this game's slogan is poor timing. <laughs> oh, oh my man. God, that was terrible. Okay. Okay. Let's let's talk about what we're going to do. I mean, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to go into the cliffside one instead of the second one. That's exactly what we're going to do. Yes. Sounds great. Uh, Fijio says, here is a fun detail. If you die by suffocation, the Herthian makes this horrifying gasping sound on waking up for the next loop. That happened to us, I yeah, think. Yeah, there's a lot of fucked up sound effects. Yeah, we did do that one. Yeah. Because, I mean, we suffocated... More than once. Countless the, times. Yeah, in the in the main game, yeah. yeah. Though I suppose if I did suffocate to death, the next thing I would want to do is take a really large gulp of air. Yeah. A horrifying large gulp of air. Okay, correct. Nicely done. This time, thank you. Uh, Fidual says, I mean... The classic thing every Outer Wilds player does at least once is jumping out of the ship without the suit. I don't know if we oh. actually did that. No, I never even thought to do that. Well, I think the idea is you don't think and do that. Y yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah, I'll bet you start choking pretty quick if you do that, though. I didn't even think to try that activity <laughs> of jumping into the void of space with no suit. Yeah. I am not convinced we saved time by rafting to this point. Yeah, I don't know. We may Maybe be able not. to just kind of like hopscotch yeah. our way back over here. It just feels safe to me. Uh, Bucha says, yeah, when I played I half expected one wake up to start... Uh, one wake-up start to just have the ha uh, hatchling wake-up yelling. Yeah, like screaming in terror. Yeah. I can see that. Alright, that was off. Yeah, we really do not... We, we really don't, like, editorialize much on our situation. No. If if this I I know if this were me, I would just have a constant narration going to myself at this point. Yeah. I know you would. You talk to yourself. I talk to myself constantly. <laughs> uh okay. Alright, going to the Ah. These are these are the enemies in the dream world, by the way. They're uh, all yeah, these... they've been dead and in here for a long time already. So once this gets taken out by water they don't have bodies to return to like we do. <laughs> you see this room of desiccated corpses? Yeah. Let me introduce you. Yeah, this is Jim. <laughs> uh, Bucha says, well, in the two thumbs, two thumbs tradition, yelling in frustration. Yeah. Yeah. That's my <laughs> trademark. <laughs> I am Era says, Pete, talk to himself? Yeah, yeah. Never. Constantly. <laughs> okay. I honestly don't even... I don't know how... Oh, crap. I don't know how long I should wait. I feel like the dam broke really quickly after waiting five minutes last time. I'll do four. I'll do four minutes. I still feel like I should wait a little bit. I mean, that's fine. I feel like we waited longer last time. But then again, I don't remember I, how long it was supposed to take. And you don't want this one. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get as far right as possible. Um... Fijul says, you ever think some loop slate just sits there thinking as his friend blasts off into space for the first time? Why the fuck did they wake up screaming about anglerfish? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> I am Era says, wait 17 minutes. Wait 17 minutes? 
No. <laughs> That's horrible. That would give you five. I mean, I can't do... Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. jeez. Yeah, if I wait 17 minutes, yeah, that would be the end of the cycle. <laughs> I can't learn anything in zero minutes. What's that? What's what? Those boxes down there. I don't know. What the hole in there? What are those boxes down there? Oh, there's like a little cavey covey thing down there. All right, we're going to have to... Do that at Do some that point. Do that next cycle, then. I'm Eris, says JK. Yeah, well, thank goodness, yeah. <laughs> if you weren't, I have horrible news for you. <laughs> that is not going to happen. Actually, we have waited almost to the end of cycles to experiment on stuff before. Yeah. Unfortunately, nothing oh. usually comes from that. Oh. I was like, that doesn't sound like a scratching board. That's a poo box. And I'm talking about the cats for the record. Oh, Boot just says 17 minutes was what we ended on at the end of the last stream. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to do three. Because it's probably been about three or four. Okay. And we still have to get there. Right. And I want to see them poof into nothing because I am I'm, there's something wrong with me. I guess you're gonna have to time that well, though. I mean, like... I'm I'm not actually planning on making it there perfectly timed. Oh, okay. Too much God of War. I just want to see everything turn to dust now. Oh. Also, by the way, if you have not played, where are we? Yeah, go to the side here. Yeah. I was never a big, like, original series God of War fan, but I picked up the, uh, the soft reboot now that it's on sale, and my uh, god. What? Don't we come over here, drop Oh, down. there's a secret thing, isn't there? Secret. That's yeah. right. Oh, this shit. <sighs> Hang on. Oh my god, it's not far it's enough. It's not far enough. <laughs> Bucha says, and we ended in panic, joy, spite, anger, and despondence in the face of achievement. I was genuinely pissed off after yes, that. I was, was really angry. Hey, okay. beautiful. All right, so we are going to aim, like, right there. Okay. You're going to fall off the cliff in no. the dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst sounding fate ever. <laughs> oh. Huh. Okay. Okay. Sure. I'm all right. Whew. Whew. Yeah, the first time, first time we did that, my face had absolutely no reaction when I fell because I was like, "This is the natural order of things." <laughs> this makes sense. I deserve this. Yep. They're probably going to be dead by the time we get there. I don't think we're going to make it there fast enough. I don't know. Wait a minute. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. I'm tricking myself. I was like, isn't the fire in the hotel? Or the lodge? It is not. That is where the big picture was. Bucha says, I think you're fine. Oh, thank you. Alright, we don't need this guy. It would be cool to see that animation. I guess we could always just go there and wait, but I mean for... From a distance. It looks a little bit like a dude with a, a like goatee wearing a Viking helmet. Bell? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I thought you meant us. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what I look like. <laughs> I mean, you shaved, so. 
a little bit less like oh, a dude than a guy. Oh, I, me- I meant us like. Oh. Like this guy, us. Huh. Okay. I almost flew right into the water. God. Okay, where is it? Is that it? I think so. Yeah, here we go. There are already lights on over here. That means we've been here before. Okay, you can go up those stairs. That's right. Shortcuts. 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 Oh, Fajul says for future reference, the dam collapses 13 minutes into the loop. Oh, okay. Oh, so we probably did beat the collapse then. Oh, There it is. Oh, <laughs> well. Oh, my God. The timing of this would be really cool if I could... I really want to see those guys die. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't take this from me! <laughs> All right, well... They shriek to death, but... To oh. death is the important thing here, I guess. Was it back here? No, I think the one you were walking right toward was the correct one. Oh, I second guess myself. Okay, maybe not. Who knows? Come on, man. You could walk away from your lantern and then it's pretty easy to tell. Yeah, that's a good call. this one okay okay so yeah this area would normally be filled with enemies that we can't get past from what I and understand. We tried everything. We yeah. tried walking backwards. We tried running at them. We, we tried everything. We tried pretending they weren't there. <laughs> we tried acknowledging them. We tried shining a light at them. We said please a couple of times. Oh yeah, there is the other, uh, the other way doorway out. there. Yeah, I mean, there has not been an exit to any of these rooms yet. So I figure we'll just do what we need to do and then leave. Alright. Ooh, so fancy. Oh boy. Look at all the things. What was, what did we already just now pass? Uh, I think that's the projector. Nothing. I'm still, that's not gonna be far enough, I don't think. Oh, well there's, there's light in here though. Here. Yeah, that's the artifact, but before we do that. I am convinced that one of these things is going to have something in it. Nothing yet, though. Okay. Um... Is this going to be an invisible thing? Might could be. Yeah, we should actually probably get the lay of the land here in the in the matrix. No. You would have fallen to your death. Yeah. That would have been a kick in the pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I uh... Huh. Oh, yeah, Bucha says, to look at the upper level y'all were trying to sneak by the elk for, if only to satisfy our curiosity slash tenacity. And Error says, don't die. I mean, <laughs> that is way easier said than done. Okay, so what do we do here and now? Here. Ah, there's one. Bucha says, slides. So that's a little bridge. 
I thought we already could see that one. Oh, damn it. See? <laughs> Can you just jump? No. Dang. Dang our tiny little legs. Okay, well, this is an unforeseen issue. Oh! Oh! What the f- Oh, that triggered the existence of bridges. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Fine. This one. This is the movie I want to watch. <laughs> You need to put it this in This is there. the movie I want to watch. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. So there's the eye giving the signal out. Uh, Zem says just dream yourself a jetpack. <laughs> yeah, that would be fantastic. Okay. This is this one where they can see the eye. Yeah. He's a panic reindeer. I see reindeer. it. Everybody look at it. Actually, I don't, at think, it. I don't think he's panicked yet. Oh. Okay. Oh, they like. They farmed themselves out of existence. Wait a minute, isn't that the planet they're on? Why are we seeing the planet from here? Or is that just like. Are they on a moon? Maybe they live on the moon of that planet. Not sure. Or that could be where we are. Well, no, I don't know. So, yeah, they used all of their resources to build. The stranger. The stranger to get up there. And they're like, we want to oh. touch this eye. Yeah, they went all the way over there. Okay. okay. And to think all that was for nothing, because it just means the end of the all world. All for naught. Okay. Okay, so they're digitally going around the... Uh, Oh, it loads the next area. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, if you jump off during that time, you fall out of the world. What? God, there is so much shit to do in this. Okay, I think those are the only ones we can get to. Alright, let's see what is up there. So we're supposed to go into one of the loading areas and jump out? It looks like it. Um, Era says, is the moon going to crash in three days? Oh god, <laughs> that would figure. Uh, Bucha says, the pull, the draw of the eye. Speaking of oh. gaming tropes. Yeah. And Fajul says, look, they can only stream the terrain off the disc so fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's this second floor where these other guys It's going to be a whole lot of nothing, isn't it? That is an immense amount of nothing. Yep. Was this like a closet or something? No, it's just the... Okay. Well, here, let's see if we can see something. I mean, I don't see where there would be a thing to see. So this is where we came up. Yeah. Wow, yeah, there's really nothing up here. Cool. How disappointing. Okay. Well. Alright, so... Bucha says, no monster closets. I think we have enough time to try something in this in this thing. Yeah, I guess the monster cl monster closet would have been empty after the Where are you going to try? It. I'm going to jump into that one uh Oh, the Oh, this was a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> it was like over That's here somewhere, right. wasn't it? Yeah. Down there. Okay, here. what are you? There's a hatch. Okay. 
Did we? I think we did something and popped out here before. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's an exit. Okay. It's the end of the world music. Yeah, it is the end of the world. So, I I guess we're going into the... Which one has a bridge that's easily... Or a raft that's easily accessible? I guess the first one. Yeah. the jewel says, 50,000 elk used to live in this city. Now it's a ghost town. Yeah. <laughs> Eris says, no, the moon is falling? No, the sun explodes. Yeah, the sun is exploding. Yeah, yeah. that's what this <laughs> Yeah. The, I feel like the moon falling would be less catastrophic. There are than several what's moons in this game. Yeah. And they could fall and there would still be a good chunk of the game left. Yeah. Our ship is very fast. We could very easily escape. Zem says F. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> For who? For us? For the Elks? Yeah. For my sanity? Any cats back there? Oh my gosh. He's <laughs> out cold on top of the vent. Shingo? Yeah. Aw. Uh, oh, Bucha says one thing I would like you to do when the end of loop music comes on is to go to the big windows on the side and watch the sun. Oh, in the actual, like, stranger in the place? Stranger, we can I do guess. That. <laughs> the jewel says I was literally just writing something even vaguer in reference to the same thing. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after we land, we should go look at the computer and let it update. Oh. Yeah, we've watched the sun explode from... Just Our ships. a hill on the main game and stuff. Yeah, well, I don't think we've actually looked at it as it's uh, as it's blown up in this in this place. Funk. Okay, come on. Found a slide reel appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the stranger's inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas. This game. This game. Let me tell you, it's a game. Ow. Oh, what a game. Now, should we do the first one, or do you <laughs> think we should do the third one or the second one so we have more time? Uh... In there? I personally think if we're spending any time in the dream world, we should avoid doing it in the first one. Uh, Grandfather says, spoilers, you see the Teletubby solar toddler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vigil says, no, no, we need to commit to this bit. I am the contaminators. <laughs> Got some lulls from error. And Bucha says, I'd say go to a dry one. Okay. Alright, I am going to... I'll do the third one, so I'll open this door and do the third one again. Okay, do we really need this door anymore? Oh no, I guess we don't, do we? We're just trying to find a transitionary place. Yeah, we don't need to do that anymore, you're right. <laughs> I mean, we may find out that we do because we need to, for some reason, go back to a thing in that building, but... Yeah, but I mean... Until we find that out. I, I sincerely doubt it. I think we've done everything we can over there. That was a very small building. There was not a lot of ex exploration area over there. I say that, and the Matrix is going to have something. I mean, I feel like we looked as... As Matrix? As thoroughly as we could. As, as Alien Neo? Oh, Sam says the Teletubbies toddler was on an old Big Fat Quiz of the Year that I watched recently. I think we saw that yeah, one, too. Yeah, I think we watched that one. Yeah. That sounds familiar. We gotta watch the new one. It's like a New Year's one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Eris says, be right back. Puppy found me. Aw. Infidual says, when music warns you death is drawing near, slash pray take the time to... Oh, oh okay, sorry. This, I, did, I wasn't ready for the rhyme here. When music warns you death is drawing near, pray take the time to out the windows peer. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> Uh, Vucha said, I also say if you want, you can just look at the first spoilered limmer hint in the thread. We have not looked at the spoiler limmer Yeah, we hints. haven't looked at any of the spoilers. And I'm very proud of us. Because it was hard. It was hard to not cheat. <laughs> Stairs are for wimps. Ow. <laughs> I should use the stairs. Yeah, I don't know. I read enough threads about, like, uh, uh, TV shows and movies that I just, by nature, do not mouse over anything with a spoiler on it. Yeah. I'll even find myself, like, two posts later being like, wait a minute, I've already seen that thing. I can absolutely read what the spoiler was. Yeah. <laughs> I've earned this. <laughs> <laughs> deserve it yeah okay right. so we can do the shortcutty place hey brangles all right god this always makes me so freaking nervous Okay. <laughs> Woo! I'm genuinely excited to see what this is gonna do because everything that happens in this game is ludicrous. Yeah. Is there anything we haven't fi like figured out? Like all the stuff that we had made our own mental notes to do, I think we've done. Is there anything we've left, like, I mean, undone? We've, we've still got to solve those. Uh, oh, three, well, like like yeah. the end game thing. Yeah, I right. still say that's like end game. I'm uh, calling it end game. I don't know if it actually is or not. It seems like it will be. All right, as soon as there's nothing. <gasps> uh, ooh, we can stand in this water. What the fuck? Okay, so you know I have to try something right away. Okay. Oh. So <laughs> are we like on the other, are we in the middle of of the end area that we were just talking about? Where even are we? Oh, these are the four areas that we can raft to. Oh. Oh, there's the, or maybe not, there's the underground place we were just at with all the... Yeah. All right, well, anyway, Bucha says, error, entity out of geometry boundary. And Fujul says, int overflow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we should be going. Let's pick one that looks like fun. I mean, this has a lot of lights. Oh, how much you want to bet if I jump down there, I'm back, like, in area. Yeah. If we can't figure out where to go, I'll try and jump down there just in case I'm wrong, but... I am willing to bet if we go down there, that's deep water. Because, I mean, those are all places we've been. Right. This is, like, it's never going to end. It's just mechanic after mechanic after mechanic forever. I keep saying end game for the DLC. This doesn't end, does it? 
are we going to see, like, behind a place we've been and realize there's something behind some place? Is that the purpose of this? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what uh. our goal is with this area. Because, like, I think we're seeing behind places we've been in before. Oh, there's this actually some place I can go over to. here. Oh, this is this area. But you're coming at it from a different side. Oh, don't jump down yet. That's where we got stuck before. Oh. So if we find another, like... Uh, real, Another we can real. take it over there and play it. But I don't think we'd be able to get back up. I mean, I don't think there is... Okay. Oh, I can get over here. But you can't have any of those. Uh, Fidjul says to figure out a sense of where are we... An excellent idea, I think, would be. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so the hint is, I said a good thing. I had a good point. That's crazy that we can get up to these and you can't interact with any of them. Hmm. Yeah, I don't Bucha... think I can go anywhere else over here. Bucha says, sadly, yeah, these slides are window dressing. Oh, that sucks. Okay. I mean, I'm just gonna keep... Just gonna keep walking around and, until we find something. I kind of want to be careful with the uh, light right here because I saw some of those teleporty hands. I don't want to get pulled in. Bucha says, ooh, that green light. Oh. Oh, is this the, the area we haven't been able to get to? Yeah. Okay, so that looks like it's a, so... just a two-way thing. So that can get us over to there. Right. Still haven't figured out what to do with that light source over there. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be deep water. Okay, so we can get... We can bring a raft across the way to the fi final area. I don't... Can you keep going around and see the other final areas? Um, I will... I would hang follow. closer to the existing one. Oh, I was just going to follow the perimeter as well as I could. Oh, I think that's a different place. Oh, are there different perimeters for each one? I yeah. guess that would make sense. water sounds. Yeah. I don't love uh, that. That's why. So, I mean, I think we should probably go back to the first one of these, we, or the first of the end game locations that we saw. Okay. Does this just go on forever? Maybe. That's why I'm trying to turn us back around. Okay. If it doesn't go on forever, it goes a long time. On for a very so long time. So, should I jump down to that raft area? Yeah, you I think? think so. I mean, 
It looked like all it was going to do, though, was bring us to the mainland, and we don't know any of the passwords for those things yet. I was wondering if maybe one of the passwords was in the area you can jump down into. I mean, it didn't take very long to get here if we need to do it again. Oh, Boo just says, by the way, you're now on spoilered limmer hint number two. Okay. So now... Okay. I'm going to jump down Do here. it. Do it. So Woo! here's a question. Do we fall into a different no man's land if... Oh... Do we fall into a different no man's land if we jump down a different loading area? I don't know. I think we probably do. Okay, so what did that do just now? That turned off one of the lights on the uh, diving bell, I think. Oh. Yes. Oh. So it like completed this for us. Okay, so this looks like it's still going to do the same thing it always did. Okay, we don't need to... So you could... well... There are things to blow them out. Whoops, ah, God. On all three of them. Mm -hmm. So you've got to blow them out. It isn't necessarily solving them, I guess. Because we we still have not seen anything that would imply that we got, like, solutions to this. Right. So does this do anything now? Oh! Hmm. So. Oh, okay. I didn't know if that would turn it back on. <laughs> Grandfather says you scared off the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Zem says lol. <laughs> Wow, so these candles don't really have anything to do with extinguish. Like, it extinguished the lock. Yeah. Like, the lock's gone. Uh-huh. I am willing to bet if we jumped down into a different quote-unquote loading area. I'm going to try that. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. So every, I think every loading area is going to give us access to a different out-of-bounds place. This game is nuts. Oh, excuse me. I am uncomfortably full. Oh, we did find a good new Korean place. It um, was delicious, but holy crap, my eyes were way bigger than my stomach. Come on, I don't have all day. Grubfire asks, what was it called? It's a uh, shaking bowl in... Um, Way in South County. Yeah. I'd always seen them, like, rated really highly, but never really bothered to go over there. Yeah. They were really good. Yeah. Should have gone over there way sooner. All the staff were wearing masks, which is something I'm not used to. 
and that makes me sad that I can say that. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I always kind of wondered why it was such a... A notable... Like, a long darkness in there. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try and do it over here. The cats are getting into doors. I don't like it. I mean, Prangles is just sleeping back there. Oh, I was wrong. This dropped us in the exact same place. Okay. Okay, so... That implies to me that we should be able to get to the other ones from here. Okay, so I mean, we're not dead yet, so... I mean, there it is, right there. Yeah. But it doesn't look like we have access from the back on that one. Well, let's see. No, nah, they built that up. I still... I still feel like there has to be something with this. Oh! No, it goes all the way around. Wow, that's a long... Oh. Are those huh. invisible... Uh... Oh, we knew those were there, though. What? The invisible oh, platforms. The platforms. Yeah, yeah, we knew about that. That is a... You want to go around the perimeter? Just to see if there's something we can see? I think that's going to be a long walk, if nothing. I mean, we've already been in this cycle for quite a while. If the music starts playing, I'll jump out and try and we'll look, out the, watch try the world look out the window. End. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. Uh, Grumfather says, I feel like this is an original Doom level. <laughs> yeah. That's I can absolutely see that. Okay, where is a window? We are at the worst possible place to look out a window, I think. I mean, if you zoom down that way, you can maybe get up. You've got pretty good jetpack. Yeah. Just, like, oh. Oh. All no. right. Go with the water. All according to plan. Uh-huh. Oh, trees. Thank goodness. Yeah. Is that a window? I mean... Which side's gonna have the... Well... This is definitely the unobstructed view. How come it disappears when we're in the water? That's just how windows work. I don't know if this is a really good view, but... Well, I'll try and jump up and get closer. Like, is that a reflection or is it the actual sun? Oh. Well, I tried. <laughs> that was a bad place for it. Okay, so. There is a glitchy area. It has at least access to at least one way of getting rid of the locks. So we're not actually, from what I can tell, we're not actually looking for passwords. We are just trying to get to those things. It does seem that way, yes. So, what is the point of that one side that has the invisible platforms? I mean, it could be like the... Well, 
no, I was so. So yeah, it seems that the, each of those may correspond to uh, one of the like major mechanics they're teaching us for this. So like the one we just did is about boundary breaking. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. um, and the one with the like guard tower could be we may have to figure out a way to like shut off lights or something. Okay. I mean, I definitely think we should go back in. I don't think there's any other place we've found yet. Yeah. So. I feel like, I'm going to be honest here. I mean, for story purposes, yeah, it was cool. But I feel like the matrixy part of it is really underutilized. I think they could have done a lot of cool, like, secret things with that. Unless there's still stuff we haven't seen yet. From a story perspective, it's really neat. But I would have been hiding freaking everything in there. <laughs> oh, you mean the, like, unprogrammed, yeah. out-of-bounds areas. Yeah. I would have been hiding so much crap in there. <laughs> yeah, I really do think the end game, quote unquote, is going to be opening that sarcophagus thing yeah to see what's in it that is going to be the end of the dlc that does seem like it is and we're close like we've got to be really close to this we've got to be fairly close <laughs> we've got to be able to say we've made a little bit of progress toward the end of this game I mean, we did jump off a raft into darkness. We that did. was a new thing. That's a lot of progress. Yeah. I'm going to try my theory one more time, and I'm going to ride it to, like, three loading zones and then jump off. Just, just to see. But, okay. I mean, if it didn't do it for that second one, I don't think there's a different way of doing it. <laughs> Bucha says, Coming soon, Two Thumbs Pete plays Outer Wilds Echoes, <laughs> Echoes of the Eye, Part 27, Mecha Brambles. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. And yeah, oh, Grandfather it. says maybe there'd be more uh, into the Alk tricks if it was a full game instead of a DLC. Yeah, and that's definitely a possibility. I do keep. I mean, this has lasted <laughs> so long that I forget that it is just an add on. Yeah. Grandfather says Outer Wilds 2, even Outerver Wildser. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's such a long trek every time, but this is the safest one to do. Alright, let's go hang out with our favorite corpses. Yeah. Don't tell the other corpses, but you guys are my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just say that about any corpses. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, we got Error back. Hello. You, I think you missed us jumping into the darkness. Yeah, well, you're about to see it again. Yes, it's about to happen again. Hold on to your seat while we jump off of ours. <laughs> I really dread, like, knowing how close to the edge of that I am. Those last I have to do few it. feet. Oh, Air says puppy had me in stitches. Aw. Uh, 
Does the puppy have a name? It's such a cute dog. Oh. Yes. We still don't know if there's anything to do on the actual, like, Bell Island place. Oh, yeah, we haven't really done a whole lot there. I mean, we've been there and the ship updated. It doesn't say there's more to explore. But then again, it doesn't say there's more to explore anywhere. and We clearly haven't finished it yet. Hmm. But yeah, that is that is another place where there might be something. Uh, Eric says Saru. Am I saying that right? S-A-R-U. Saru. If so, that's a pretty name. So, this is the one you jumped yeah. into last time. I'm going to go to the next one. You're going to go to the third one? Just to see if it does anything. I don't think it's going to, but just to see. Uh, Fidual <laughs> gives us a, a lovely bit of hint verse here. I must concede that what's below is not a matter that will help you with the plot. But while the window seemed to bust for thee, what of what we strangely did not see? So what did we not see with the outside of the ship or the hole? Like in this area? Oh, oh. Or, oh, oh, looking out the window in that last round. Yeah. We didn't actually see the sun there. Oh, so that, that was a reflection then. I mean, maybe that's just what I'm thinking on. So wait a minute. Watching the sun explode is an actual hint? Like that actually means something? Potentially. Uh, Fidjul says, I also wish to gripe that it is tough to get these damned things written quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, You're doing a good job. Yeah, I am immensely impressed. Okay, so I mean, this is just the set dressing stuff. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm missing something, it really does seem like the only place we can actually jump onto is that one that we did. But that's only a, a two-way raft. I mean, we can blow out the one lock, that's fine. Oh, my stomach. Okay, so, here. So, this rock wall over here is right behind where another one is. Yes. Also, Zem said, uh, you're practically Grintilda. Fucha says, <laughs> it's not a hint for now. Twas only for a wow. <laughs> uh, Fujul says, look, if I'm going to be hint-dropping chat guy, I'm going to work for it. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate it. I just... I don't see... Like, is there a break in the rock? I mean, I don't think we necessarily solve all of them by going around back. Okay, so, well, what can we see? There's that... Is that a hand thing? No, that's the thing that's going to blow the lights out on that side. I'm trying to see if there's, like, a teleporter to get to it or something. Have we been way out to that one? I think we went by all of them. I don't know. I don't remember that one. <laughs> Bucha says, we're on Limmer Hint 3, just in case. 
And Grump Fodder says, now you just have to mod your lantern to let you keep your jetpack. See, that would be fantastic. Do you know how much nicer... Like, if they can digitize my clothing, why can't they digitize my suit? Hmm. Fair. Boy, these Alks are behind the times. They're not advanced at all. Okay. Yeah, Pucha says for all of the Alks technology, they didn't quite figure out jetpacks. Yeah. Yes, yeah, see, and that's natural light, so that's not going to be something we can just blow out. True. Oh, there's like a space right there, but it's obviously way too high up. Grunfodder says they're very advanced. They just prefer their Skyrim's vanilla. And Zem says, yeah. could they fly? The owl part of them, maybe. The elk part of them, probably no. Yeah, I don't. We haven't seen them fly at all, have we? Just in their ship. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to shut that off. Unless there's something above ground we can block. Oh, what is that? I don't know. There was just like a panel floating in the air, right? It did look like that, yes. And actually, that is an interesting idea of blocking... Whoa. Blocking something from above. Which area is that? Oh. It looks like the thing in the air is visible. So. Grunfodder says Frank's 2000 inch TV. Is that a reference to something? Yeah, I don't think that's a location we've been to. Oh, it's a projector screen. Oh. It's a projector screen. Yeah, we've been in there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, Gruntfather says, very deep weird owl cut. <laughs> Eris says, Gruntfather, that would be grand. So... I do like the idea of covering something up what I is mean, what is right above that considering it's, that all of this is a simulation i'm not real sure the i don't know um yeah if we i was trying to remember that if we go oh it would be around somewhere around the diving bell wouldn't it because we get here by taking a the fire and the diving bell yeah. Well. Mm. Here. I'm yeah. going to jump down here. I'm not a fan of my own idea. I'm going to do that. Okay. Grandfather says, imagine the PowerPoint presentations. The star wipes would be the size of actual stars. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I don't know if we can get up that high in the simulation. Let's see here. What happens if we just try to manually go back up? Yeah, when you get in the uh, elevator, face it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
No, we do go above it. Yeah, it's somewhere outside the diving bell. Um, Bucha says, do you remember if the bells care about light or not? Like the bells to wake everyone up? Okay, yeah, so we can't... I mean, unless it's something that happens in the real world that we need to change. <laughs> I'm just... We're both sitting here silently puzzling. I think we should look at that area in the real world. Okay. Here, you know what? Anywhere we can, like, teleport from here? Yeah, I mean, it's only the two ways. Hmm. Can I put the lock back? Can I, can I reverse progress? Hmm. No. Oh. Accidentally pushed the raft away. <laughs> can I only... Hey! <laughs> ah, physics. Here, can you get on this... Thing. Can you, like, fudge yourself back up there? Yeah. Maybe? Oh! Kind of. Hey! <laughs> wow, you actually can get back up. Interesting. Oh, that saves a lot of time, then. Yeah, look at that. Okay, yeah, that saves a bunch of time doing that, then. Bucha says, remember an old hint. The entrances to the Alk Matrix are familiar, but only the entrances. Eri says, well done. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, at least I can, at least I can jump well. At least I'm still good at platformers. <laughs> so, the entrances are familiar, but only the entrances. Well, I mean, the entrances are the fires. Mm-hmm. Do I win? Yeah. <laughs> that did it. Okay, yeah. There's there's not going to be anything to see in this matrix area. Or view, I mean. Down here. I do like the idea of doing something with that. I'm wondering if maybe we have to, like, ride a raft to a certain spot and leave the raft there? I thought you were just going to say, I do like the idea of doing something. <laughs> I like the idea of playing this game. I like the idea game. of progress. I, I didn't even say that. I really controversial. Yeah, I just like the idea of doing something. I think we should move forward. <laughs> Yeah, I genuinely don't know what else to do down here. I don't think there's anything else we can do. Yeah. I think this entire area was just for this. Because we can't even, like, exit from here. If we die, we're going to three. We're not going to the bell. Here. I mean, we may well be out of time at this point. But I'm going to go to the bell area. Okay. And see if it looks like there's light going through the ground anywhere, even if we don't have time to do it in this cycle. Bejewel says, the pieces of the game are all in play. 
A figurative final boss to slay. A sensible idea is to review The Secrets 3 available to you. The Secrets 3. Wisdom, power, courage. Uh huh. That's the right franchise, right? Sure. So it would have been like around here somewhere. Right there. It's right well, there. Yeah, no, I mean, that's where the bell is. Well, the area in the matrix that we were is not connected to the physical world. No, I guess it isn't. I would, if we want to pursue that line of thought, which I'll still say I am willing to throw away that line of thought. Uh, okay. Then I think we need to do the same thing, but in the elk tricks. Yeah. Can we? Ow! Fuck! Ow! Lord! Oh my goodness! You got yourself killed bef just before the world ended. I know, and I was gonna try to look for the sun again. 